No, I never thought I'd do a master's. Honestly, I thought once I'd done my undergrad, I thought I was done with it. But yeah, going to work, realising that there is more out there to achieve, more, more to accomplish, more to learn, I guess. So my name is Adam Cocaine. I studied environmental engineering part-time. So I chose Cranfield because in my field of work, it's really well known. It was recommended to me. A couple of senior people in my company had, had been to Cranfield. I knew the alumni was something to be respected and well thought of in the industry. It's a quite a specialist course, but it's also quite open to anyone with any kind of environmental background looking to specialise. So you could have an engineering background, you could have a generous environmental background like myself. But I found the lecturers very supportive of any background. The best bit about the course for me was the way it related to industry. Like my previous studies and idea of studying was that you do lectures and then you write a report. It's normally a kind of meaningless report. I found Cranfield is really tailored to the industry and everything you wrote or studied or learnt about was very much what's going on in the real world and I could relate it back to my own work and some of the reports I've been writing I could see them being also written by consultants in the industry I'm working in which was quite inspiring. Yeah so advice I would give people looking to do this part-time is ensure your one your employer is going to back you and is, is really supportive of, of you taking the time because it is challenging. Yeah, it was a work-life balance for sure. I had to uh, take a week off work to come and do the studies and then I'd go back to work and have two weeks to complete the assignment. So the challenge was working and then in the evenings I'm doing the assignments. But it all worked out well, so no problems there. <laughs>